Hi everyone, this is Nathan and this is the tutorial of how to use the CMake interface to build ISAT make files without and with Seagull and then run some quick problems, example problems. And to start with, we need to download ISAT and to do that we need to download clone two folders. They are SciEngine set solver. So first I will create a folder here in Nathan Documents Programming, the folder is named I set tutorial video. And inside this folder, I will clone SciEngine set solver. To clone, then I use source tree. Uh, it's a repository interface for Mercurial Git. And to do that in Git, you just go new repository clone from URL. You get just the URL. This H clone is if you were doing terminal. I first do sciang. Then sciang here. I press tab. It already finds that it is a Mercurial repository. I want to set the folder here. I set tutorial video. And I want to be checked out in a folder called SciEng. I set tutorial video SciEng. And this name is just the name of the project in source tree and I want to call it tutorial video also. You see it appearing here, it's loading here and it's done. We can close this window, clone a new repository from URL. Now let's get set solver which I set really. And press tab, it finds a Mercurial project same folder, I set tutorial video, open. I want to be called set solver, so slash set solver in here. And the name just to appear in source tree, set solver tutorial video. And clone. This one will take more time. You can see here the bar, he already appeared. And almost done perfect so you see it's very cool you can see who committed who merged anyway let's continue now let's all together open this folder set solver where you have the files for I set and here there's a file called readme see make steps make file Mac text let's open this file and follow the steps together you can close source tree now and let me make this smaller. First step, step zero is to check out set solver and sciange. We already did it. Good. We have done two here. If this is your first time compiling iset, read file, read me first, macOS text at set solver folder, install the libraries specified there using Macworks. So let's go here. Well, it's not my first time, but if it is yours, you have to go to here, installing and using Mac ports. You go to their website, there's also a tutorial there. It's very straightforward. And you have to install those libraries here, using Mac ports. It, it may take some time, some like one to two hours, but it, the process is mainly straightforward. So considering you did that and you have Mac ports in your computer, uh, choose your GCC version using Mac ports. So first list your GCC versions. So assuming you have Mac ports, go to the terminal and type this. Enter. So these are my GCC versions. Imagine that I wanted another version or I was in 4.9 and I want 5. The way to select Another GCC version would be like this. sudo port select set GCC mpgcc5. Perfect. So now GCC5 is active and it shows which one is active. Okay, you can close terminal. Next step open CMake GI. So if you don't have CMake, just go to CMake, CMake.org. 
and in here you can download CMake. Then let's open CMake. Now here you have to put the path where your main CMake list uh, .txt file is at. It's on the folder called sets for server that we just cloned. So let's go there. Browse source, programming folder. I set tutorial video set server. This is my folder. And the place I want to create the make files, the project, I want to create in the same level as set server with the name project make file. Having done that, press configure. Uh, I want to create the new folder. Uh, Unix make files, use the failed native compilers, done. So now if I go here, I see that I already have a folder called project make file. And here in CMake, you have to check if all the libraries were found. Uh, if they weren't, the some error will appear. Since yeah, everything appears to be fine, I can co click configure again to get rid of the red lines. It appears my asset configuration. I'm using GNU 5.3.0. I'm doing Unix make files. My configuration type is optimized. My flags, my definitions. And with that done, I can click generate. And then the make files were generated. Exit, CMake. And now let's go to the terminal to compile the the project so open terminal let's go to the folder where it is so cd documents programming i set tutorial video project make file and here you can see that there's a make file and to compile just type make minus j8 and then it's being compiled First, it compiles Cyange. You can see it created the Fortran libs. Now it's analysis, material, where the weak formulations are at are defined. So any materials, then mesh, post process files. Preprocess files, scanning, and it appears to be working. Having done that, let's see the next step to quickly test if it works in the same project make file folder. Okay, I'm here. Go to the folder projects. So, projects, my first ISAT simulation. And in here you see that there is an executable, my first test, and this is executable use this mesh here, this GRF file with some mesh to run I set and do some, some simulation. So let's run it. Okay, it appears to be working fine. Now let's go back and see here what I have in projects. To click test it if the TCL interface is working. I set uses TCL a lot, and to use that, he uses the executable which is in TCL main. And there's a file there for you to test. And the way to do it is to supply to the executable TCL I set this TCL file. So dot slash TCL I set 2D Tria Heat Point Analytic P1 TCL. Enter. Okay, it ran. It's working. There are other there are other tests there. So there's this test OpenMP to test the parallel implementation to, to test if the library that for the parallel implementation is working fine actually. So in here you have test OpenMP. So it's a thread very simple program without racing conditions so the threads each time go crazy <laughs> and a quick reminder 
these are quick tests to te to really test if your CI set version is working fine you should run the QA tests okay now let's go back and see what we have in projects here we did my first I set simulation te test OpenMP TCL main but there's this test seagull which is a test for the seagull library and let's try to do it see what happens Seagull is not defined to execute this test set use Seagull in CMake GUI. So the thing is that we didn't build our project with Seagull, and which is a geom a library in C with geometric algorithms. And now let's do this. So I'll put this thing here so you can find it quickly in YouTube. And now we're gonna follow the steps to build iSet with Seagull. Seagull iSet uses Seagull a lot. So let's do it. The next steps are for compile iSet with Seagull 463. So to start, download Seagull from this place here. So let's go to Firefox, go to this place, 463. Let's download the tar, which is smaller, save. And here, at the same folder, I set tutorial video. That's this guy here, and extract it. I don't need this Firefox anymore. And in here, we need to edit one file for I set. So this file, edit a part of the file, Seagull, include, Delanoway Translation 3.h. So let's go to this file. So include Seagull Delanoway Delan. And here is the file. We should edit this function here. And the edit part is here. And also here. So to find this function, let's copy this part here. Okay, you see there's no other. So after wall clocker timer T and if, so after here, I copy this thing here. Perfect. And parallel here, lots of code skipped until I find this triangulation computed. Triangulation computed. Then after number of vertices minus n, I put this end if. Perfect. Save the file. Close. Next step, open CMake. So let's open CMake. Let's go back to folders. And in CMake, browse to Seagull 463. So let's browse, programming, I set tutorial video, Seagull 463. And choose for the project a folder called compile G++ inside this Seagull folder. So inside the Seagull folder, compile G++. Let's continue following the tutorial. So let's make this smaller. Click configure, set, I wanna create the folder, yes. Set Unix make files. Oh, you see the folder was already created here. Specify native compilers in Mac, you cannot be sure. Continue. And you choose those compilers here. They are the ones that were defined by Mac ports. So done. Yeah. Seagull takes a lot more. Uh, then uncheck build shared libs. Okay, unchecked. And these other ones here, they are here which is image.io, kt3, kt4. 
configure again and generate. You can close uh, CMake for now. Then in terminal, go to the folder compile and type make. So where is this folder? Go back one, two. Here you have Seagull and the folder compile G++. And here I type make. This is fast. And we are done. Now you have to go back to the CMake GUI. And in here we go back to our iSet project. You could browse again and then put the place again. But if you click here and you click the project folder, it already identifies which source it is using. So you see already changed here and you're already at the right place. You can click configure to get rid of the red lines. You can click configure how many times you want. It doesn't change anything. But now we want Seagull. So let's check this option here, using Seagull. And normally we click using Seagull exact arithmetic. So configure again. Okay, we have an error. What error is that? Please inform the path to compile Seagull on Seagull Dirvar. Okay, inform compile Seagull path here. So let's inform it. So at programming, again I set tutorial video, Seagull, and the compiler one is here. Choose, configure, it identified because these two flags appear. We're not using 4.4, so leave it be. Configure again to get rid of the red lines. And we can generate now. Close here. Here. And we can go back. So let's see what's the next step. Make green. Okay, we can go back to the folder where your our project is at. Project make file. So we are here. Make clean to clean the last compile. And let's compile again. Now with Seagull. This one would take longer. Um, take one minute and 30 seconds, something like that. In the meantime, let's see another one that I have here. The documents, programming, I set, then project, make file. And here I have CD projects, test Seagull, the one we had. And if I run that, you see Seagull appears to be working correct, correctly. And this will happen when you finish this build and you will try to do this test here. Uh, do you see this is just a warning, it's okay. There's no, this will always appear. And okay, I think we did it. We compiled ISET without Seagull, with Seagull, and we run some quick tests. Don't forget that to verify the reliability of ISET, you have to do the QA tests. And if you want to learn more about CMake, there's a mini course inside Set Solver Docs, Docs CMake, CMake course. And you can open this Word file and go through the tutorial. It's very, very fast and it tries to mimic a very simple version of ISET. And that's all. Any doubts that you may have, here is my email. Feel free to contact me. Thank you very much. Bye bye.